Hi everyone, I have a moment here, like a quite a peaceful moment outside when no one's doing uh, any home improvements and I thought I'm going to, going to take this opportunity to uh, show you my brand new collection which is called the Everyday Collection. This is a sequel or continuation of the Come Home Collection. If you don't know what Come Home Collection is, I'm going to put the picture just here so you can just have a quick look. So the Come Home Collection was kept in those gorgeous teals and turquoises and white and off-white and greys, whilst this collection the predominant colours are mauve and the peach. Um, so these are the two colours that um, really um, stand out in this collection. We have lots of gorgeous products and some brand brand new products as well um, that we didn't have in the previous collection. So let me go through them and really introduce this collection to you properly and just talk about why I decided to package it this way and why I decided to introduce this product and etc etc. Okay, so Let's start with the paper pads. We have three paper pads, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, and 6 by 6. There is a big difference between this and Come Home Collection because these paper pads are bigger, apart from the 12 by 12. So let's start with 6 by 6. And the 6 by 6 now has 17 double sided pages, whilst the Come Home had 12 double sided pages. So this is the paper pad, this is the 6x6, six six. and at the back of the cover you have your fussy cuts, okay, and then um, you have five double sided designs and they are repeated three times. So let me just show you the gorgeous design. So you've got this gorgeous busy front page as we always have with our collections and that stunning uh, back page that is brilliant for your backgrounds. So here you go. I love this. So uh, this is a this is the only repeated design from the Come Home collection, but this one is in this gorgeous kind of uh, purple mauve color um, in the Come Home collection, and it was in gorgeous turquoise. Okay, so then those five designs are then repeated twice. So you have another ten pages, exactly the same. And then at the back, you've got uh, the little um, cutout card, ephemera, tags, however you want to call them. There are twelve of them, and they are obviously scaling up depending on the size of the paper pad. So this is your six by six. Now the eight by eight is designed exactly, is structured in exactly the same way. So you have your fussy cuts at the uh, at the front of the at the back of the cover um and then you have those beautiful pages um that are uh, exactly the same so you have um the three times five designs and then at the back you have those gorgeous kind of labels cards however you want to call them. So these obviously coordinate beautifully with the collection because they are made with the elements from the collection. Then you have the 12 by 12. Uh, the 12 by 12 is not glued. It is shrink wrapped. And then it just looks like this. And it's just so beautiful. So again, you've got a full page of those beautiful fussy cuts. And now you can really see and appreciate the scale of those. So these are the these are the pages. It's actually the first time I'm seeing them as well um, on on the, when they when they've been printed. I've seen the eight by eight, but I haven't seen the twelve by twelve. That is so gorgeous. I'm so proud. I really am proud of this collection. It's just so beautiful, um, and it was a lot of work. And then you have the same pages repeated again, and then at the back. Um, you have the same thing as we had in 8x8 and 6x6, which is all those gorgeous tags. So these are your, and then you have a board which is just perfect for all your die cutting machine, just great um, to create your own chipboards, really. Okay, so that's that. That's the paper pads. Now, 
of course we have other things we have the vinyl stickers um so we have the uh, word vinyl stickers and we have the, the shapes vinyl stickers they coordinate beautifully with the collection because obviously they're made with the same elements and you've got little cards here at the bottom as well and you have all those can you see they've pre-cut of course they've pre-cut um, so these strips are perfect for all your sentiments whatever sentiments you need you're going to find here and again, these stickers, of course, they are pre-cut. Um, so they are fantastic to add, especially if you like journaling. These will be perfect for you because they are flat. And obviously, um, we need flatter elements in our journaling. And then we have two gorgeous sets of uh, flowers. So these are the flowers that are in the collection. We have the lighter set um, with the peaches, oranges and pinks. And this is, so the sets are, I think, 13 and 14 flowers. Um, there are quite a few flowers. They're really, really sizable. And a while ago, you requested that we put large flowers and small flowers in the packs so that no matter what kind of project you do, you can kind of do that graduation of flowers and put smaller and larger elements. So this is what we do. And then you have the second um, set as well, which is which is uh, more vibrant. So this one is more your pastel kind of delicate colours. And this one is those really, really vibrant, beautiful purples and mauves. So you've got the flowers. And then we have uh, ephemera. Now the ephemera is super special. The reason why, well, first of all, it says sealed with love by Anna. But actually that seal, funnily enough, is on kind of on the outside. So it's not sealed as such, but it has been sealed. It has been created with love by me. Um, and then um, the actual cut, uh, die cuts, you have 47, 46, you have 46 pieces in every pack. And that is, and packs are packed. I mean, when I say 46 pieces, obviously it is 46 pieces, but have a look. That is so many different elements now i think there is only like maybe one design that is the same which is this one because that's perfect for your you know for your layering and graduating in height uh, on your cards um but then uh, any other designs that are the same they are actually in different sizes so the more popular ones i thought that would be the the ones that i thought will be more popular um i've put in two different sizes so you have this one you have the post box which is just so useful on so many different cards you've got those you've got oh it's one of my absolute favorite and they all um are very special these die cards because they are close cut cuts uh, die cuts so they don't have the white border if you wanted a white border, you can take the fussy cuts and then cut them uh, with your scissors with the white border. But these don't really have, some of them have a little bit, may have just a little bit of a border wherever they've been cut. But other than that, they are close cuts um, and they just, they just layer so beautifully. Okay, now. And the last thing I'm going to show you is our, our journaling cards. So these are the 24 journaling cards that are perfect, perfect to go with this collection. Now, they don't have to be used for journaling. They are great as your um, as your cards for just your matting and laying for your uh, A6. I think it's going to be A6 cards. Um they're just a perfect size so these are four by six inches um and you have uh here you have 12 designs and you get uh each design repeated twice so you get 24 cards so let me just quickly go through those just to show you what we have i mean that is so pretty so they are back to back, which is great. I love this. I've added this sentiment here uh, last minute whilst I was working on this. The, um, the COVID-19 just started um, and I thought we really need a little bit of a pick me up. So I've added the uplifting sentiments to this collection. 
So as you can see, they are coordinating beautifully with the collection. Um, some of them are directly taken from the collection. Some of them have been designed um, for the collection. So 24 journaling cards there. So the last thing I wanted to show you is the gorgeous marble gloss marble gold gloss pad um and this one is another one from our gorgeous gloss pads range and these just work beautifully especially when you die cut them and this one the marble one is just so stunning and it corresponds well co coordinates so so well with this entire collection in fact let me show you this project and have a look at the leaves and they have been cut from the gloss paper so i'm going to try to catch a little bit of gloss i'm not sure if you can see it you can see a little bit here um and they just add it just adds a little bit of a um different texture and finish to your project so i hope you enjoy this closer look at my everyday uh, collection and it is available now at craftbooks.co.uk